Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today I want to show you how to work with the groove and make it your own. Let's go. In this day and age, we all hang out on YouTube, Instagram or wherever. Watch all these videos from drummers from all over the world, showing and explaining the craziest grooves. And you can just go and practice all these. And is this the way to go? Well, yes, as Picasso famously stated, good artists copy, great artists steal. And that is true. But on the other hand, I think you should always work with the groove. Change little things and try to make it your own. This not only has the benefit of your groove sounding more original, but you also learn how to navigate freely through a groove. It becomes more of a bunch of options than a fixed pattern. So today we take a pretty simple groove and just explore what we can do with it. And even though this groove is simple and everything I play here is more geared towards beginners, you, the more experienced drummers, you can take all these ideas and concepts and apply it to whatever crazy stuff you are currently working on. So this is the groove we use today. And you have probably seen or heard this, I myself have used it in countless of my videos. So if you want to and if you are just here for the ideas and variations, skip to here. Otherwise I will play it for you, then break it down real quick. So we are all on the same page here. Let's go. I like to break down this groove in three parts. The first part is very easy. It's just this. So here we go. The second part, which is the hardest part of the three, but still pretty easy, is just right, left, right, left, right, with a kick on that very last note. Here we go. And the third part, just two eighth notes, doesn't get any simpler than that. Now we just put everything together and we get this wonderful groove every drummer uses. I will play it for you, but at first I will leave a small gap between each part so you can hear them individually and that's also the way I would practice that. Just play it with a gap until it feels comfortable, then close the gap and you're ready to go. So let's do it.
All right, so the first thing I always do with every new groove I learn is to just let that right hand wander around. Everything you play on the hi-hat can also be played on the right cymbal or on a crash cymbal or on the floor tom or wherever you want. So let's try that. Alright, let's work on some orchestrations with the left hand and we will take these in-between snare hits in the middle and just play them wherever. On the hi-hat, on the toms, on the cymbals. You can really do whatever you want here. Just try it out, see what you like, what feels good. Everything is allowed. Let me give that a try on the set and I will just jam around with it and go for it. And you will hear it will sound like I play a lot of different things, but actually I'm just playing the same pattern over and over again. I will just change the orchestration. Let's go! These are the very basics of working with a groove. And it's your job to find ideas you like and make everything you play your own. So just sit down, play something you already know, try to orchestrate it, switch it up and find something that feels good and sounds good to you. In the next step I like to find something inside the groove and pull it out of context take it out of the groove and just make it its own little thing. And here we use that middle part, this right, left, right, left, right. We can play this as sort of a fill inside the groove. I will start out really simple. Just play it on the tom and then orchestrate it and see where I can take it. I will keep the rest of the groove on the right cymbal so it won't be that confusing. Let's go! Okay, so we got a lot going on here. But so far I haven't changed anything about the pattern. I have been playing the exact same thing throughout this whole video. And that's the next step. Let's actually change something. And that really depends on your skill level. Let's do something really really easy. We just add another snare hit on count 4 and. Let me play that for you and then I will slowly introduce all different kinds of orchestrations and ideas we had earlier. Let's go!
Let's try something else, a bit more difficult. We will change the right hand. And instead of eighth notes, we will now go for offbeats. And again, I will just play the groove and then slowly start to introduce all these different orchestrations and ideas and just see where I can take it. And remember, again, I will not change anything about the pattern. I will just orchestrate. Alright, at this point you have probably realized that you can take this anywhere you like. Just by adding a kick or a snare, changing the right hand a bit and then a bit of creativity in your orchestrations. You can take one groove and morph it into thousands of new original ideas. So take anything you are currently working on and just try to make it your own. All right, that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you want to make more videos like this possible, consider donating to my Patreon campaign. And I see you next Friday.